Next up, we're going to look at the parathyroid gland. The parathyroid gland is going to be four small round masses at the back of the thyroid gland. They're going to be primarily responsible for secreting parathyroid hormone, also called parathormone. Um, this is ultimately going to be responsible for increasing, increasing levels of calcium in the blood. So this is going to stimulate osteoclasts to break down bone, releasing calcium into the blood. This is also going to stimulate the kidneys to remove calcium from the fluid destined to become urine and return it to the blood. So it stimulates rates at which calcium is absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract and it inhibits osteoblasts. So it ultimately does everything that calcitonin doesn't do, or it does the exact opposite of calcitonin. So it's going to increase blood calcium levels. Under, under secretion of the parathyroid hormone, what would happen if we couldn't secrete enough? What would happen to our body if we weren't secreting enough parathyroid hormone and our blood calcium levels dropped too low? It could result in nervousness. It could result in muscle spasms. It could result in, um, in loss of muscle conduction nerve conduction and muscle conduction because we need mu we need calcium to help stimulate our muscles over secretion of the parathyroid hormone is going to pull calcium from bone tissue causing weakened bones elevated blood calcium levels could lead to kidney stones calcium deposits in the soft tissue and decreased activity of the nervous system so we could so we can see um some negative effects, whether we're looking at over secretion or under secretion of that parathyroid hormone. Here is a fantastic diagram. I love this diagram, figure 10.3 or 10.13. It helps kind of show the connections between um, calcitonin and parathyroid, um, parathyroid hormone. So when our blood, when our blood calcium levels get too high, too much calcium in the blood, the thyroid will secrete calcitonin. This is going to cause the blood to take up calcium and bring us back to a normal calcium level. If our blood calcium level gets too low, the parathyroid gland is going to release PTH that's going to cause our bones to release calcium, cause our kidneys to reabsorb that calcium out of our urine, and causes the intestines to absorb calcium from our food as well, and help bring our normal, our calcium back up to normal health, uh, blood calcium levels. So this is a great diagram. Spend a little bit of time looking at it to see the relationship between calcitonin and parathyroid hormone.